Hi guys, this is Kaya Leslie and I'm back with another video. Um, and today I'm going to be creating these safety pin shirt slash dress. Um, this is a trendy little style right now, so I just wanted to recreate it. And the things you're going to need are scissors, safety pins, and the um, the tanks. I got mine from Walmart for $0.75. Cent. I found them on the clearance rack. And then the safety pins were like $3. So all in all, like this was under a $10 project. So yeah, let's get to it. So first, you're going to see that I'm just going to start off by cutting um, cutting just the slits. And as you see, at first, I pinch, I pinch the shirt, then I cut, and then I will cut it again, like slice it all the way down. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing that. And then I'm going to do the other side. I pinch the shirt first, um, do a little cut, and that's going to create the opening. And then I'm going to slice it down or we'll cut it down. And I came up with the um, slit ideas myself. Um, and you can just come up with yours. You don't have to use mine, but this is the style I, I, I but this is the style I wanted. So then I'm just gonna start placing the safety pins um, through the shirt and just covering up the openings. Nothing too major, super simple and super self-explanatory. And I sped up um, this process because I felt like it was, a, you know, really tedious and it was self-explanatory. And like I said, guys, this project literally was under $10. It was super affordable and it's super easy to make. So, yeah, I hope you guys don't have as much trouble with this or don't have trouble with this at all actually and um, another thing is that I kept the white one as a dress because it was long enough to be a dress and I got this in a size medium as you can see and I'm super small so it fit me perfectly as a dress
so you guys can see how long it was I, I kept it as a dress and now you're gonna just see me cut the sides um, of the dress to make the other slits that I wanted to do And another thing is that your cuts and slits don't have to be super exact or super perfect because the safety pins are going to cover it, cover most of it anyways. And I just sped through it again because I feel like it was self explanatory again. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am cutting like the armpits um, to make the cuts on the sides a little bit deeper. And you guys, please be careful. Do not poke yourself with these safety pins because it can hurt. Trust me. All right, and next is the black tank top, and I'm actually going to cut this one into a crop top. And yes, I know I did not cut it perfectly, but like I said before, it doesn't have to be cut perfectly, and the design still turned out pretty well. Still turned out pretty well. As you can see, it's nowhere near.
get through most of this part because I feel like it's self-explanatory and it's very easy. all right and you guys are going to see me add safety pins to the shoulders um just to give it a nice little details but i also went back and added dangling um safety pins on the end of the shirt and you guys will see at the end of the video so continue to watch And I just want to say thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's super quick and easy and simple. And yeah, so make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And I will see you guys in my next video.